This may well be my new travel bag. It's the Inatech Anti-Fift bag. Let's take a look. Quick overview of the bag then. We've got a grab handle here and here on the side. A nice deep pocket there and another even deeper pocket too. Flipping it over to the back, as you'd expect, we've got clips here so you can secure it in place. We've got a pocket right down here. We've got this here so you can attach it to your suitcase. <laughs> the last pocket I found right here, which goes all the way to the bottom. No zip, but it is there. We've got a nice pocket right there, so good for a water bottle, umbrella or something. Doesn't close there, but it's expandable, so that's nice. Note these clips here that you can cinch in nice and tight, which also stops people once they've faffed about with your zip, they'll probably still struggle to get the whole thing open. Yeah, they can get the hand in, but that's one more step that they have to deal with. If we flip across to the other side, of course, we've got those clips again. No other pockets here. This is actually where I put my monopod straight in there, cinched it, and I clipped the monopod with a carabiner to the handle at the top, just in case it fell out. On the straps, you'll see a nice little pocket there for your change or whatever. You've got that on both straps. That is pretty cool. Now this isn't waterproof, although it's decent in a shower, but I'd always pull out the rain cover in case of emergency. This piece here though, does feel like it's waterproof. And it reminds me of a pencil case, but it's a really cool little idea for your most valuable objects. Imagine some nifty person gets their hand in. That's one more thing that they probably don't know about unless they've watched this video. So that is cool. Two pockets there. Then at the other end, nice pocket there, there, and pen pockets there. You can still have used it. Bit of brand in there, but that's a minor. Close that back up. Nice solid zips. Talking about those zips, I do like this. You can get your padlock in there and lock them decently. In fact, you've got them on this pocket too, which I'll show you now. We get that open and you can see nice big cavernous space for the laptops. It's noted as 15 to 15.6 inch laptop, but check out the size of that. That is a decent little overview of the bag, I hope. It's better than just looking at a few photos anyway, but what do I personally think about it? Gotta be fair, this is a nice bag. It's a little bit longer than I personally wanted, but <laughs> that's the nature of it. I should have looked at the measurements first, but this thing, I mean, I keep finding pockets all the time. These change pocket, or whatever it's for, very, very handy, even, I was using it at the photography show the other day and I flipped it round and I realised that you can even stick it up right down there. <laughs> this back pocket is handy. The, it's just full of pockets and I'm probably going to be finding pockets till the cows come home, frankly. These things are actually nice and solid and they're comfortable too if you need to drag this along by hand for a short while. You can fit your nice little cable clip or your TSA lock, whatever kind of lock, your padlock can go in there nice. They've definitely thought this through when it comes to the anti-theft. Of course, any zip you could just whack a biro in and get it open, but these zips are pretty solid and all the little tiny features there, especially with these pockets at the back and the zip pockets inside, means that this should do me pretty proud on some of my longer travels or days when I need to take a lot of stuff because I am trying to limit my gear and 
with a bag this size I can take far too much stuff. My MacBook Air is only 11 inches. This takes 15 to 15.6 inches. And frankly, I'll be honest, it's so cavernous. I wouldn't be surprised if you can get a 17 in there. You can get a couple of them to be honest. And I'm not gonna do that again. It is a nice, well-designed bag at just 39 pounds. So it just remains to see how long it lasts. But based on experiences with relatively similar bags and to be honest, not so well designed and built, built? Anyway, I think this is a winner, worth 38.99. Check out the link below, subscribe, leave a comment if you've any bag recommendations and see you in the next one.